I started to build a new spectrometer, but I didn't know how long to make it or at what angle the grating should be installed in relation to the light path from the entrance slit or in relation to the camera. So I set up an optical bench to see which combination produced the best image of a spectrum. This made it easy to change the distance between the entrance slit and the grating while keeping the grating aligned along the same light path. The distance between the slit and the grating was easy to measure, and it was also possible to adjust the angle of the grating while looking through it to get the best resolved spectrum. A little viewing scope allowed marking the angle at which you were viewing the spectrum when it was the sharpest. A rail along the side made it possible to get consistent measurements of both of these angles. So by viewing the spectrum of a compact fluorescent lamp and recording these angles for the sharpest spectral image for different distances between slit and grating, I thought I would know exactly how to build the spectrometer. I used the two fine peaks of terbium at 578 and 580 nanometers in the fluorescent lamp spectrum to gauge sharpness. As the grating was rotated, these would become sharp at a particular angle. I also used these terbium peaks as a marker to determine the angle at which I was looking through the grating. The result is that the best angle for the grating changes with distance from the entrance slit. Close to the slit, the grating has to be steeply angled. Also, the best viewing angle is not perpendicular to the grating, although it gets closer to perpendicular as the grating is moved farther from the slit. With a thousand line per millimeter grating film used, Placing the grating at 45 degrees produces the best spectral image only when it is more than 40 centimeters from the entrance slit. Viewing the sharpest spectrum seemed to require looking into the grating at an angle that was not perpendicular to the grating. Only when the grating was almost half a meter from the entrance slit was the best viewing angle close to perpendicular. But the paths of light entering a camera lens are not all at the same angle, so I'm not sure how this result translates into aiming the camera when I build the spectrometer. Ideally, all of these things would be adjustable in the final spectrometer, but that greatly complicates construction. <laughs>